Am I ready for bed? <sighs> Hello and welcome to Wildflowers. It is a Tuesday and also the election day. First things first though, let's check on things here. Oh, I guess I didn't have anything going here. Quite an oversight. Oh well, um, let's make more of those levitation potions. Morning, Giver. What are you up to? Headed to see the election results, of course. I can't vote, but I wouldn't miss this for the world. Fancy coming along? Right. Let's go. Here you go, Tara. It's so great to see all our neighbors performing their civic duty. Hmm. Who should I vote for? Forward into the future. Whatever that might bring. Okay. Everyone, we're ready to tally the votes. Okay, settle down, everyone. The final vote count is as follows. Otto Soft, nine votes. Martin Emerson, eight votes. And two write-in votes for Lena Dahl Johnson. What? Lena? What is he talking about? I, I have no idea. I didn't ask anyone to vote for me. Well, I, I did prepare a speech in the hopes that common sense would prevail. As my first act as your newly re-elected mayor, I would like to announce the new members of the friendly Fairhaven Neighborhood Watch, Natalia and Thomas. Lena? Not here, Tara. Hmm. Okay. Well. Uh, give us here. So I guess we can uh, do this quest thing. Oh, sorry, I uh, meant to talk to Giva. Oh my! Perhaps it's not too late to pick up a degree in history too. Now that it's turned cooler, I really am enjoying the onsen. I know it wasn't built specially for me, but it's so secluded that it feels like it was. Isn't it a wonder that nature can provide a marvelous hot spring like that to bathe in? Hmm. Too bad that uh, Marty didn't win, even though we voted for him. I've asked Wesley if he'd like to carry the Book of the Mind at his bookstore, but he keeps saying no. I don't understand. It's a great opportunity. Yeah, it's just not the kind of book Wesley really sells. Yeah, not exactly an occult tome or a detective story. Oh, this is warm in the cockles of my heart. I'm just so pleased that Otto picked me for the friendly Fairhaven neighborhood watch. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really pleased for you too, Natalia. Oh, well, that election turned out to be a total bummer. I love this town, but it could really use some change. Might be time to move on. Oof, you look exhausted. Still coming down from your election nerves? It's not that. We've already established a schedule for the friendly Fairhaven Neighborhood Watch, and as mayor, I took the first shift last night. But staying awake that long is hard. I had so much coffee beforehand, but Thomas still caught me <clears throat> resting my eyes. Okay. Lena's done a fine job keeping up her family store. I'm sure Marcus would be proud. I keep telling myself I'll take the ferry and go visit, but... Well, 
I doubt he'd remember me much. Most of our generation is gone. I'll have to be the one to hold the memories. No. Unbelievable. Even after that bizarre performance at the debate, Angus still wants to be part of the league. Imagine watching that guy and being like, yep, that's my leader. Oh, Francis. Violet's such a talented seamstress. She noticed that my sweater had a pull, so she grabbed a crochet hook and threaded it back in. It might have been more comfortable if she had let me take it off first, though. I hope Violet actually gets to... um... have that fashion boutique someday. That'd be lovely. Uh-huh, we have stuff here. And we'll make that into silk. So, you really can't dye the silk, huh? Nope. Just cotton cloth. Sauerkraut. Okay, so that takes a couple of days. We definitely might need like a lot more of those fermentation barrels. We don't really have room for them though. Nothing here. Oh, cabbages. Let's grow some soybeans here. Good morning, Layla. Or afternoon at this point, I guess. Pancho. And Cleocatra. Oh, look at the head scratches. I wonder what's going to happen with the mayor thing. <laughs> you still liked that, didn't you, kitty? The farseer did say that Otto wouldn't be mayor for long. We need an amethyst. Let's see if we can find one. We'll also attend the Coven meeting tonight. See if that election has uh, triggered any new quests or events or anything. Before we go to the meeting, let's search for an amethyst. A topaz, not what we were looking for.
I'm also trying to remember to keep an eye out for that box. It may be that we have to get to the bottom of the mine to find it. Sapphire, not what we were looking for either. We'll have to go to the coven meeting soon, but we do have a little bit of time. So let's look into a few more of these potential gem holding rocks Come on, just one amethyst. That's all we need to save that wedding cake. Let's break this one and then we'll go. Alright, let's head on over. See if there's anything new here after that election. Nothing. And that is just the, uh, that quest. When crafting an incantation, the most important thing is evoking the very nature of what you're changing. That's where understanding and being clear in your intentions matters even more than the verse itself. The art varies from witch to witch. I think we'd heard that before. Is the coven the reason people seem to be afraid of these woods? Who's the people do it? Yeah, we've heard that. Between the bar and our coven, I'm always at home in Fairhaven. No, oh, that's nice to hear. Cast any good incantation spells lately? Um, uh. This one we've heard a few times. We cannot let the townspeople know our true identities. Witches have died this way. Hmm, nothing new here then. Let's go back into the mine. We'll have a little something to eat and uh, then we've got a couple more hours before bedtime in which to find an amethyst. It would be so nice to find it. Then we could fix the cake and uh, the wedding thing could advance a little. I really want to see that wedding. I bet it'll be lovely. The forest is always so nice and uh, weddings tend to be beautiful. Oh, hello. Lovely. We still have some energy left, quite a bit actually, so let's use it up before we go home. We may want to crack some of these rocks as well, because we do need more iron. It would be nice to find more gems too, though. Ah, oh, 
midnight. Alright, let's go home. We'll make the reverse time incantation. And I guess we could also cast it before we go to bed. And we'll have to do this as well. All right, let's fix the cake. Okay, I guess it's now or never. Tick, tock, turn back the clock and let the past be unlocked. Yoo-hoo! I finally got rid of that tart! Uh, I mean, those tarts. I would never call Mrs. Soft. <laughs> anyway, uh, can I pick up my cake? <laughs> sure, go ahead. Thanks, you're the best, Tara. For being so kind, I've brought you a couple spare tarts I had from the catering gig and the recipe to make your own. Oh, yay. Blueberry tart. Nice. Am I ready for bed? Let's have another day in this episode. That first one was so short, not even 20 minutes. All right, we can make more levitation potions. And I guess we need to... Um, hmm. Oh yeah, we need to find a person who can tell us more about the history of the mine. Oh, hi Lena. What's up? Trouble, I think. Mayor Otto has called an emergency town hall meeting and there's a feeling in the air that has me pretty jumpy. So far, I've had bad experiences with town hall meetings in general, so... All right, let's go. I don't want to go in there and listen to Otto. Not after last night. Me either. But it'll look suspicious if we don't go. Come on. What happened last night? Thank you all for joining me. I know it's early, but this is an emergency. I received an anonymous tip yesterday that confirms what I suspected. There are witches in Fairhaven. I knew it. I could sense the malcontents. Simmer down, simmer down. What we need now is information. Has anyone seen or heard anything unnatural? I don't like the woods, same as you. But isn't there a less public way to... It's Sophia. Sophia is the witch. I've seen her. Oh, no. Doing what? Going out into the woods late at night. I... I was just looking for Juliet. She didn't come home by curfew. I, Natalia, Sophia's not a witch. She never hurt anyone. Malcontents have a way of tricking the innocent into defending them. I can't believe this. You think... You think I'd really... Quiet! We need order now more than ever. I will investigate Natalia's claims as fully as I can. We'll hold a trial for Sophia a week from today. You can't do that? Shh. I can, and I have to. Something's been troubling Fairhaven since... since I was a little boy. And we will figure out what it is. See you all next week. And in the meantime, stay safe. No. Why would Natalia say that? She always seemed nice. It wasn't Natalia, was it? It was the Wraith. The Wraith's messing with someone already? Natalia's never acted like that before. She's as sweet as Sophia. Maybe the High Priestess knows how to fix this. We'll find out tonight, yeah? We better, because we have to fix this. Okay. I guess we have a week to fix things. So, the Wraith 
possessed Natalia, huh? And uh, as its first move, it made quite a bit of trouble for us. Um, well, we'll definitely have to attend the Coven meeting tonight. Hello, Cleocatra. <laughs> you still liked that, didn't you, kitty? Let's see what we have here. A lot of things to harvest. By the looks of it. shed even further because um there isn't a whole lot of room in there and uh we really need a lot of those fermentation barrels We'll want to make wine and sauerkraut. And both of those things take time. Hello, Layla. Pancho. Let's get these and give you the chicken feed. That'll last for another six days. Oh, we need to recast uh, this. Things I want, but don't yet have. Get off the ground and in my bag. Hmm. It's Wednesday. The shops over here should be open. Oh. Well, we have to do something. What's the point of having magic at all if we don't use it to help that poor lady? I use my magic to help all the time. But I help creatures, not humans. Humans destroy each other. It's all that makes them unique. Ahem. As the only one of us who used to be a human, let me say that isn't true. Humans are afraid of what they don't know. But so are the Fae. We're not different. And I can't hold up here, watching Sophia suffer. Say you help her. What if you're discovered? Hmm? What if you transform? Interfering with human affairs does more harm than good. I would know. But you're... Uh, we, we can't, I just... Uh, how dry, I don't like this. Perry and I are hundreds of years old. We've seen scads of witch trials. Never ends well. And as the senior members of Ravenwood Hollow, we're breaking this tie. No interfering. Ah, well... Horse feathers! How much of that did you hear? Uh, enough to get the gist. No helping. A decision I have to abide by, technically. But if there's anything you need... Wow. Thanks, Wesley. That's very generous of you. You haven't even been a wish for a full year yet, and you're already dealing with wraiths. Ah, that's a lot to handle. Become a witch, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Hey, at least someone asked your permission first. 
No, that's true. Ariel, I need to ask you something about the mines. Ah, an exquisite habitat. What do you wish to know? Are you the one who drove it out of business? <laughs> ah, at last, someone figures it out. Yes. And did you hide all the keys, too? <laughs> Most certainly. But I just... Why? The humans were making far too much noise. And the oars. They took and took. It hurt the animals that make the cave their home. The keys were a prank. A vicious one, true. But it worked. You must have saved the lives of generations of animals. Oh, yes. That I did. Sometimes I go visit the bats and the creepy crawlies that live there today. I tell them stories of their distant ancestors who survived the miners. I can't tell Giva what actually caused the mines to close. That is true. You do not want to incur the coven's wrath. Or Paris, I can tell you. Okay. It would be wise to focus all your energies on capturing the wraith. Humans do terrible things to animals. But when they turn on each other, it can be just as bad. Well, luckily, um, Wesley is going to very discreetly give us a hand if we need him to. Wesley tells me someone in your village was accused of being a witch. Yes, but it wasn't someone in our coven. I feel terrible. Sophia is completely innocent. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with being what we are. You must be more careful. If they ensnare one of you, you won't be able to keep the wellspring in balance. Then more innocents will suffer. Mm-hmm. We will be careful. And I'm sure we will find a way to deal with this. Let's buy all of the herbs again. We also need these. We'll buy three. And um, I guess we could sell some of these. We have a lot. All right, let's see what we got. Bumper Harvest Potion. Ooh, I think we really want this Ultra Miracle Grow Potion. Yeah. Also, we have more herbs. I guess we could buy those. Ah, one more. There we go. We are now at the, uh, at the top tier. Ah, so she doesn't sell the magical flowers. That's too bad. I was hoping that she might. Hmm. I guess we'll need to wait till we get to the point in the story where we'll be able to Harvest wildflowers from the gloaming. It did say that the, uh, what was the flower we needed for the enchanted silver wire? Well, it did say that that grows in the gloaming wild. 
So you visited the gloaming, huh? Oh, I wish I could have gone with you. Unfortunately, the deeper I go into the gloaming, the more I break out in hives. The magic reacts with the electricity and goblin skin. It's neat. In theory, not practice. Yeah, I bet it's not very neat in practice. Um, we could get the fishing whirligig and maybe make some more power gems. Okay, 25 uh, silver and gold ingots for the mining whirligig. I don't think it can find the keys, but apparently it can bring back anything else from the mine. Let's give you some bait. Maybe not everything that we have, but like some of it. Hey, fishy, go fish. But how do we tell you where to go fishing? Didn't it say we needed to tell you where to go fishing? Huh. <laughs> you already have some fish here. Okay. I guess you're just going to fish wherever Hey Feedy, get to it. Huh. I guess Feedy had run out of power too. Um right. We need to find Kiva. Let's maybe go into town, see if we can run into her. We need to head into the forest anyway. Oh, hi. I think I uncovered what happened in the mines. Who? Tell me, tell me. It was, uh, how do I put this? Uh, a kind of corporate sabotage. I would have never guessed that! By whom? It's a mystery, but it was definitely intentional. Hmm. Well, the best mysteries have an unsolvable element, right? Something for the reader to guess at. I'm glad you feel that way, because... I don't think you'll be figuring this one out. Well, in any case, we both learned so much from your adventures. Thank you, Tara. Anytime. <laughs> Okay. So, Tara, Natalia's accusation of Sophia, is that real? I'm afraid so. I thought perhaps this was some sort of island-wide elaborate live-action role-playing game, which would have been odd enough, but this... I'm not sure what to think. Yeah. Well... Hopefully, the oddness will be over soon. Hi, Violet. I know this might sound weird, but I feel almost as bad for Natalia as I do for Sophia. If we get this Wraith to let her go, she's going to wake up and realize what she did. And she'll hate herself, but it's not her fault. It's ours. It's not really our fault, though. It was an accident. 
I can't believe anyone would think Miss Moretti is a witch. She's the nicest person in Fairhaven. After my mom took off and my dad got his job off the island, she brought us dinner casseroles, like, every night. I finally started going to her diner just to savor the trip. Oh, hi, Natalia. Are you feeling okay, Natalia? Sure, sure. Just grateful I saw what Sophia was up to. It's a shame. I really liked her. Goes to show that anyone can be a malcontent. Hmm. Well, hopefully we'll have Natalia back to herself soon. Let's go and, uh, oh, we'll pick these and then we'll go into the coven meeting. Adept, did you get a chance to examine Natalia? I did. I asked her to stop by the clinic for a cup of tea. And? It's as we all feared. The wraith that escaped the gloaming last night has possessed Natalia. This is all my fault. If we hadn't gone into the gloaming... That shouldn't have destabilized the wellspring so profoundly. Something strange is going on. How do we get Natalia to take back what she said? This happened to a cousin of mine when I was a boy. Banishment is the only way to make a wraith leave for good. That's complicated magic. Well, complicated problems call for complicated magic, don't they now? We'll need something Natalia's made with her hands. Next, something that carries a memory dear to her. And we will need a sapphire to capture the genie and fennel seed powder to bind it. Fennel seed powder? If you grow some fennel, you can pound it up in your mortar and pestle. Can't I just grind up the seeds instead of growing them? Nonsense. We need fresh seeds from fresh fennel. Novice, can you gather these four things? I'll do my best. Bring the things that hold a part of Natalia, what she's made, and what carries a memory to me once you've got them. I'll look within them. If they're powerful enough, I'll show you how to make the banishment incantation. Be swift. Sophia only has a week until her trial. Okay. Iron ingot. We already have. Fennel powder we can easily make. A personal item we'll have to... Uh, we'll have to see about that. Uh... Nothing else? Well, if there isn't anything else here, let's go and... Oh, this is such a difficult bridge to use. Um, I'm sure I'll get used to it though. We'll plant the moly seeds. These will allow us to make levitation potions quicker. And that'll be fantastic because then we can sell the extras to Perry and make some money that way. And we really need a sapphire. We had one. But then I um I made it into a powered sapphire. They are so handy because uh they can be made using bone meal and a sapphire. And then they will power up the whirly gig for five days. Let's see if we can find another sapphire.
Nothing so far. Oh, is that the gem finder? Okay. Hey, a sapphire. That's cool. We have a lot more energy to use up though. Let's use at least some of our energy. See if we can find any more gems. Oh, and we also need a lot of iron. Ruby, nice. I guess we are using up copper at a pretty uh, steady rate as well. Every day, making those copper essences for the levitation potions. So it'll be nice to find more copper as well. We really need to go back home. So, let's go and uh, now we have the sapphire and the iron ingot. Let's make the fennel powder or whatever it was. Yeah, fennel powder. And then tomorrow we can see if we can find something personal of Natalia's. Let's make one silver essence and one copper essence. We do need both. A uh, gold essence for this one. Okay. More levitation potion, please. We did sell a lot of them today. Let's save the game here. And yeah, tomorrow we'll see if we can get our hands on something personal of Natalia's. Until then though, thank you so much for spending time with me here on The Mellow. It was lovely to have you. I'd like it if you'd leave me a like. And if you are not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time.